Welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue. You probably already know this because this is a video that you would probably only clicked on because you're a part of my family, my YouTube family. And today I'm doing the five random things about me tag originating from my lovely friend Nikki Raven. She's amazing. I'll have a link down below. I've seen a lot of people doing this tag and it's just a fun way, I think, to express yourself a little bit further on YouTube, especially when I'm, you know, we've all got our niche. I'm definitely in the beauty niche. <laughs> I'm going to tell you five random things about me and then at the end I'll give you a little bit of update about why my video sort of decreased last week and reveal something exciting. <laughs> if you <laughs> Something that is exciting for me and exciting to share with you guys. I'm excited to see what you guys think. Anyway, so let's start off with the tag. So it took me a while to think of five random things about me. Uh, I think I'm there. So one of the most random things about me is that I have been told by professionals that I cannot sing. So <laughs> when I was like 13, I dreamt of being a singer. I thought I could do it. I had, a, I made my parents get me singing lessons. Uh, the first person told me I couldn't carry a tune. So I went, nope, I'm gonna, I can do this. So I went to a second singing teacher. Um, she pretty much said all I could sing was Missy Higgins. I'll link like a Missy Higgins song down that I can sing and um, yeah, there's not much range in it. I don't know. So I've been professionally told that I can't sing. I still like to sing for my own like pleasure, but because of that I actually won't do it in front of other people very often because you know, I'm just not that good and I, I've been officially told I'm not good, so I know I'm not good. Number two, so a lot of us are scared of weird things. I mean, I absolutely love that Betty Jean is scared of whales. Oh, her playing the whale song palette, like from Menagerie. I don't know, I just love it. I'll link it down there below. But I can't actually judge her for the things that she's scared of because um, I am scared of owls and koalas. Now I know Nikki said that she loves owls. So being scared of owls and koalas actually originate from the same place for me. So in Australia or like the high school I went to, we did a week of work experience and you organize it yourself. And so I, I went to a wildlife park. Um, there, one of the jobs I had to do was feed some owls. And that was, they were in a shed and you had to put the food in the very back corner of a cage. I went in there, my sister was also there for this. Um, I went in there and the owl made eye contact with me. So, like, I looked back at the owl because, oh, like, he's super cool. I've never seen an owl up this close. But then he was, like, following me. And I was like, well, shit. And I was like, all right, well, like, Kate, can you distract him? And I'll go in because I had to feed the, I, like, you had to change the bowls out. So I, I run in to this cage, get to the back when I was watching him. And the whole time this owl is fucking swooping me and trying to attack me because I'm in his territory. And apparently looking at them in the eyes is uh, disrespectful to the owl's place. Uh, so yeah, he wasn't a fan of me and he swooped me and I'm pretty sure I ended up crying and my sister ended up laughing. Koalas, I one of the jobs I had to do there was clean out the koala cage. In this particular wild park, you can cuddle koalas, which is totally cool and something that you should do if you want to come to Australia. And like, I think it's just, it's fun to do. The koalas don't really care, I don't think. But I was in this koala cage and they told me that one of the koalas is aggressive and don't go near him. And the other ones are the ones we use for like cuddle time. I was like, okay, well shit, like I don't know which one's which. So I was sweeping in this cage and one of the koalas gets off like this tree thing they've got in there and starts fucking following me. And I'm like, shit, what am I meant to do? So I've sort of finished up my job, but then the koala keeps following me. Next minute, he's on my leg climbing up and then I've got a koala like cuddled which I mean like yes is kind of cute but I was very frightened because I was like is this the, is this the bad koala is this the good one I don't even know and I didn't know how to get him off me like I was, I was 15 and very frightened <laughs> and then I ended up going out and then I got told off because I thought I'd pick the damn koala up by myself and koalas actually make this horrifying noise <sighs> they're infested with chlamydia and they only eat eucalyptus leaves which makes them really tired and they actually don't do much so koalas are fun but they make very frightening nighttime noises and like art 
aren't that functional, but they do look cool. And like, you know, I like seeing them from afar, but I'm very frightened of getting too close to koalas. And I'm not interested in touching one ever again in my life. The third fact I have for you is that I am actually really love like watching Ninja Warrior, but specifically the Japanese version. I was really into it for a long time and I don't know, the Japanese presenters are just so hilarious. I was just rewatching some of it the other day and I was like, oh my god, like it's just the best. American, Australian, Indonesian, like there's so many other Ninja Warrior versions out there now, but if you're going to watch Ninja Warrior, I definitely recommend watching the Japanese version with them subtitles on. Those presenters are hilarious. But actually, I really love Ninja Warrior. Um, my fourth fact is that I have grey hairs. I don't know if I can... I did dye my hair the other day and then I realised I missed a whole patch. Yeah, here. Yeah. Can you see all my lovely greys? I don't know. The dye, oh, like, I swear I, 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 I did the whole, I don't know. I just need to actually go to the hairdressers and get it done. And it sucks because where I work, we have fluorescent lighting. So your grey hairs, like, are vibrant. They really show up. And my fifth and final fact for you is that in high school, I was in a thing called Cattle Club. Essentially, I went to a country high school and we, every year, the local farmers would donate cows to us, a Mary Gray, a Santa Gratutis, a Red Pole. I actually really like cattle. I've been kicked by them. I've led them around things. I've blown dried them. I don't know. I just, cattle are like quite funny. My parents actually used to have Pole Herefords, which are like really funny looking cows. And they love them, but I'm not super into them. Uh, my favorite kind of cow is like the Mary Gray. He is pretty cute. So I really like cattle. I feel like that's a bit random. I know I always surprise people uh, when they start talking about farms and cattle and then I'm like, oh my god, what kind of cows do you have? I just, I really like talking about cows. So let me know if you have some random facts, if you related to any of my random facts, I'd absolutely love to know. Uh, let me know if you're judging me for being scared of koalas and owls. I'd love to know. Or if you've ever been professionally told that you can't do something. Alright. Now, let's just have a quick rehash. So, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded as much last week. I actually am usually quite consistent on this channel. And sometimes, I don't know, like I just get a bit discouraged. And it's my own stupidity and getting into my head with this. I think I'll talk about this in a more extended version later on. But I just was, I don't know, I recorded a few videos. I just didn't like how I was in them. And I... I felt like I just need to force myself into a quick break and rehash, like reset myself and then come back to you today. So I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sorry if any of you missed any of my videos. I have so much stuff I need to film. Ugh. I'm super excited to play, play with the upcoming eyeshadow palettes and do some more look, like multiple looks per palette. But I do have a nice little pile here. But I look that I've got on my eyes today. I might release it either the same day you see this or I will the next day. So the next 24 hours and I'm super excited to see what you think of this. I'm really proud of what I did and what I created and the video so far. I haven't edited it yet. But sometimes I think with YouTube you just need to step away from it for a minute and come back to it. And I'm sorry for disappointing any of you. Uh, I will make up, up to you with videos and, um, and the thing that I'm super excited to share with you guys, pretty excited. I spent a lot of time perfecting this. It took way longer than I thought it was going to, but one night on Night Shift, I decided I wanted to create a logo. And I've been wanting a logo. So my username is Prularoo. It sort of originates from, well, I've made it my, my mascara mug now, but my sister. So it comes from a love note we saw on Valentine's Day once in the newspaper where it says like Prue LaRue I do love you and it just sort of stuck to me as well because my name is Prue and it was a catchy to say. My sister has written on this mug as I just showed you and to me it's also like a bit like of a mix of Prue and Kangaroo. I am super entertained when I do collabs with people and they can't get my username correct. It makes me laugh because I don't really understand but my name as the first four syllables is quite difficult for people and I've spoken to, have I spoken to this before? I don't know. But 
if English isn't your first language, usually the P and R isn't in like your vocabulary. So it comes out as poo. So a lot of people call me poo in my life. Um, and anyone sort of under like three or four, and uh, the first time they ever call my name, it's poo. So yeah, I am so appreciative of anyone who does collab with me or says my username. Um, and I love seeing how everyone pronounces it. It's quite entertaining to me. To me, it is a combination of Prue and Kangaroo. So here we have my new logo. So I just went on Fiverr one day and was like, I want a kangaroo with makeup. It's had like a few different reiterations. This is kind of its final form that you're seeing now. I'd love to know what you think of it and what I should do with it. I think it might be like, I might put it as like the little dude in the corner and I might just change my intro up and have it there but I don't know um it's sort of something I just did for fun I'd love to know what you think I should do with this logo that I created I don't know it just it really entertained me to have it and I have all of the copyright for it I own I own everything about this logo so I can do whatever I want with it um I'd love to know what you think I should do with it anyway I hope you enjoyed this quick little update five random things video uh, let me know something random about yourself. Uh, absolutely. I 100% want to know what you think of the logo though. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'm so grateful you chose to spend these moments with me. I'll see you next time.